Hello, fellow fish reefers. This is the Sea Cave, the most advanced designed reef unit in the world. After three years of sophisticated research and development, the Fish Reef Project is proud to have invented the Sea Cave. It's very simple, yet highly effective. You just pour the concrete into a two-piece form that you see in front of you, pull the lid off, and then remove the contents and you get this, the Sea Cave. It's over 2,000 pounds, 6 feet by 4 feet by 31 inches tall. It's been tested here for stability, and this is a 3D printed scale concrete form that we used. Just put the two pieces together. Voila, in goes the concrete. Out comes the form, and here you have it, scale model sea caves. They stack nicely for when we put them on the deck of the barge, and we're getting ready to go in the water now. The whole idea is to hold large kelp hold fasts and coral heads, and what we're after is this, very large 36 or 40 inch in diameter hold fasts that settle on that large flat surface area on the top of the sea cave. Also great for coral head recruitment and establishment. The sea caves are eager to go in the water and here we with ample flat space on the surface. Simulated kelp growth. We tried a number of different shapes and forms. This is what we call Atlantis. We'll leave that one for another day. The sea dog. The sea tunnel. But ultimately the sea cave went out as the ideal form and shape to maximize its productivity on the ocean floor without interrupting sand flow, creating large cave areas for large fish to settle and grow, as well as small fish, recruit all manner of marine life. It'll be great for the lobster fishery. The abalone will thrive inside of it, and we'll be able to restore our kelp beds and our coral ecosystems like never before. A halibut came by to say hi. He was curious in the sea cave. And the halibut will lie between the sea caves as ambush predators. As the little fish come out, they'll snatch them up. And here it is in a very turbid situation in shallow water. As you can see, the sea cave is very stable. It's not flipping over. In deeper water, this level of surge would be indicative of something like 30 or even 40 foot swells, 10 meter swells. Let's take a deeper look inside. And as you can see, the sand and the current and everything else just flows right through. It doesn't build up or fill in the sea cave. And the sea cave basically allows the water to just flow right through it and the sand and the sediment and everything. And as you can see, there's ultimately four chambers in each sea cave. And that's been one of the largest challenges with man-made reef systems is to provide enough cave area inside the reef units themselves. And the sea caves really do accomplish that in an amazing way. And the Fish Reef Project is very proud to have invented this from scratch and filed for all of the related intellectual properties and ownership. Those feet that you see on the side are 5 inches or about 12.7 centimeters, both wide and tall, so they make a very nice surface and even if the sea cave settles a few inches into the sand, which it will, those feet will still stabilize it and it creates a nice right angle for coral and scallops to settle on. Here we are in a little deeper water, a little thicker, heavier sediment, so you can see there's less of it moving around. And when you nestle the sea caves in very shallow water in less than 5 meters or 15 feet, it has the effect of the marine animals being able to move between sea caves as if it's one giant labyrinth with, with many chambers. So it has a multiplier effect. In deeper water, we will set them about 3 feet or, th or uh, 1 meter apart to allow the fish to travel between them, and that's a necessity of the deployment strategy.
Here we are slowly lurking between the sea caves. Imagine these just completely covered with coral and kelp and marine algae and abalone and scallops and coral heads like you see in front of you. It'll require very heavy lifting cranes and custom lifting solutions like you see in front of you. We'll lift 12 at a time. And also our sea stars, our tetrapods for deeper water application. I want to thank you for helping Ocean Life thrive.